Please be seated, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. My name is Chris Huskins. I am, a, I am the chairman of the Board of Directors. On behalf of the entire Board of Directors, it is my unique privilege to welcome each and every one of you today. Are we ready to celebrate? What, what, what an incredibly joyful day. This is the reason this institution exists, is to, is to train up these, these, these men and women, to give them the skills to take into a world that badly needs what they have to offer. What a fantastic day to send another group of outstanding people into the world to do God's work. I, I would like to take just a moment and recognize some of my fellow uh, board members. Would the board members please stand up? If you're, if you're in here and you're a board member, would you please stand up? Uh, these folks do a lot of hard work. They love this institution. They are committed to this institution. And I, I, I really appreciate everything they do. Thank you, guys. Thank you. As we get started today in this great celebration, will you join me in a word of prayer, please? Our most gracious and loving Father, as we gather today to celebrate, we first pause. We pause to acknowledge the fact that we are here because you've allowed it to be. We are here, Father, because you have brought these graduates to this special, unique time. Father, we pray that as they come to the conclusion of one path and begin a new path, Father, just hold these graduates close to you. Give them boldness. Give them courage. Father, the world needs what they have to offer. Father, as they go from this institution, with the knowledge and the skills that they have gained with their time and effort here. Father, guide them in a way in their career, in their ministry, in whatever path that you have them walk. Guide them and be with them as they bring honor and glory to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Psalm 126, verse 3 says, The Lord has done great things for us, and we were joyful. Are you joyful today? Yeah. All right, we're going to sing our worship and praise to the Lord because He has done great things for us. The lyrics will be on the screens. Let's stand together as we sing. Son, but purer and higher 
and greater will be our wonder, our victory when Jesus we see. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great things he has done. Amen. You may be seated. Good afternoon. That was a little tepid. Let me try that again. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Somebody ought to be happy today because you have finished one course. Amen. Some will graduate summa cum laude, some will graduate magna cum laude, some will graduate cum laude, and others will graduate thank you laude. <laughs> but you have a reason to rejoice. We have been adequately welcomed by the chairman of our board, and as the president of the faculty senate, I greet all of you here uh, all the families, the graduates, and say well done, particularly to the graduates on behalf of the faculty. Some of you have been delights with which to work. Others of you have been challenges with which to work. But the good news is, whatever that was, you're here at this place now. And we say well done. We are going to hear from a couple of our students who have made significant uh, achievements. They are the valedictorians, first of all, of the master's program and then of the undergraduate program. Uh, the valedictorian is determined according to GPA. So the graduate in each of the programs that has achieved the highest GPA in that program is the valedictorian in that program. We have two such individuals today, and I'm happy to introduce you to them. I've had the privilege, along with so many others, of teaching them, and I can tell you that their designation is well earned. For the undergraduate program, it will be Teresa Hart Pullen, and for the graduate program, it will be Ray Edwards Thompson, Sr. They will come in that order to address you today. Let us receive them warmly as they come. I made it. Praise Jesus. I just had a left knee total replacement not even two weeks ago. So God is awesome. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. I'd like to say good afternoon to President Griggs, staff, faculty members, family, friends, and fellow graduates. Today is a day that the Lord has made and we shall, oh, come on, we can do better than that, and we shall, and be glad in it, amen? I'll be reading from the Old Testament, Habakkuk chapter two, verses two through three. Then the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end 
it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Here at Charlotte Christian College and Theological Seminary, we have received the best education. Thank you to our fine administration, faculty, and teaching staff. We are preparing to move on and take on whatever challenges come next for what is ahead of us. We have had a high degree of academic excellence, and whether you intend to continue your education or not, I'm sure that we all have benefited from what we have learned here at CCTS. We all have probably been presented with a lot of difficulties through our journey, but it was good to know that our family, friends, CCTS family, and of course God, were all in our corner supporting us along the way. Thank you. We would not be here today without you. Every day we live, we have a choice to do what is right and what is wrong. Usually we make decisions based solely on our set of beliefs that we have been taught throughout life. We had no choice before we knew Christ because sin was our only route. But once we chose to come to the cross where Jesus surrendered, hung, bled, and died for our sins, we gave Jesus the right to rule and reign over our lives. Christ frees us. Christ frees us from the need to serve sin, allowing us the opportunity to follow Christ's directions willingly. Our lives depend on how much of the Bible we receive and how much we obey God throughout it. As believers, we must make Jesus our top priority and study his word because the Bible is our teacher and our way of living. God is faithful regardless of our circumstances. He is gracious, impartial, merciful, eternal, and perfect. In knowing him in his greatness and the full array of his attributes, our minds are enlarged, our lives are renewed, and our thirst for him is deepened. God can use each of you to your full potential if you acknowledge him in all your ways. You must remember that you're not the message, you're just the messenger. Finally, i like to leave you with this question. In whatever situation you are in, if your ship never comes in, your dream never comes true, or your condition is not instantly changed, could you continue to trust God and keep your joy between your disappointed time and your appointed time. Yeah. Write your vision for your appointed time. God bless you graduates. This is such a pleasure. I got filled up because it's been a journey. And I just thank God that we all have made this journey and God brought us through. God bless you. Good afternoon. As it was said earlier, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I know everybody's waiting for this, right? You can say it. You can say it. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty and their recommendations to the Board of Directors, I, I am honored and I have a pleasure to present to you the Charlotte Christian College and Theological Seminary graduates for 2022. Each candidate will arise according to their degree. With a Bachelor of Arts and Biblical Studies, please stand. Applause 
with a concentration in theology. Tanay Shatis Deberry, cum laude, will you please come? Jamaica Maxine Jackson. Dolores Dabroja McDuffie. Laverne Garns McNear in Abstentia. <laughs> Desi Arnez Morgan Sr. in Abstentia. <laughs> Blondell Simmons in Abstentia. Jesse Green Williams, you may come. The candidates for the Bachelor of Arts and Pastoral Studies, will you please stand? Alan Tatum Burris, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Candidates for Bachelor of Arts in Urban Christian Ministries with a concentration in Christian education. <laughs> Will you please stand? Teresa Hart Pullen. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude. Raquel Rivera, <laughs> Magna Cum Laude. Mr. President, it is our pleasure, Dr. Ballard and I, to present to you the awards of the following students, the honorary students. Undergraduate valedictorian, Teresa Hart Pullen.
Amen, amen. Undergraduate salut salutatorian, Raquel Rivera. Guys, it's an honor this afternoon just to be with you today. Has it been an awesome afternoon? Amen? Amen. I don't think you meant that. Has it been an awesome afternoon? Amen. Amen. Congratulations to all of our graduates. Congratulations to our faculty and our wonderful staff. If you haven't visited Charlotte Christian College and Theological Seminary, I want to personally invite you to come down and visit us on Independence Avenue. It's a great school. God is moving. God is doing great things. Dr. Greg, thank you for your work and all that you're doing. It's my privilege really quickly just to honor some special awards that have been given to us through Zondervan uh, Publishing. And they honor uh, ac uh, academ academic work across the nation in theological schools. And it's my honor today to recognize three students today who have specialized and really went above and beyond in their academic work this year. The first one is David Wilbur. David, are you here this afternoon? David, please come up. Give a hand for David. David is receiving our Greek award, and this is unusual because, David, I believe this, you just completed your freshman year, is that right? So, sophomore now, that's right, so congratulations, David. So, we should have a certificate. Our next award is our the the Theological Students uh, Student Award, and it goes to Sandra Sellers. Sandra, are you with us this afternoon? There's, is that Sandra? Come up. Hello, Sandra. Candidates, I ask that you will please stand. Will you, your tassel should be on your right side. Should right now be on your right side. And I'm going to ask you to take that tassel and turn it to the left side. Amen. You are now officially the graduate of 2022 at Charlotte Christian College and Theological Seminary. Amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord, thank you, amen. Any men with a cap on, please remove it. Men, if you have a cap on, please remove it for a moment. You might wonder about the caps. Normally we take them off when we come in, put them back on after the last prayer, out of respect for our Lord. I wanted to share with you a very brief story and then provide a blessing. My wife and I found ourselves once in our lives of having a young couple live upstairs. And they had a child while they were living upstairs. Their idea of parenting was very different from ours. And they believed in putting the baby into the cradle and let the baby cry itself to sleep. And one night I had listened to the baby cry and the baby cry and finally I got up and I went to the foot of the stairs and I said, somebody get that baby. As I turned to walk away, I heard the mother getting up a few minutes later, she is handing me the baby like this. You take him. <laughs> I put the little girl up against my chest, her ear to my heart, and she calmed. And in a few moments, she had gone to sleep. The Lord taught me something there. In ministry, we're serving a sovereign God. But on this earth, we are surrounded with people that don't like us. We're dealing with shortage of supplies, high gas prices, 
We've got all kinds of things that we're up against, even in trying to do the Lord's work. And so I wanted to send the graduates out with a blessing. If you will bow with me and think about the story that I just told. Heavenly Father, help this class of 2022 not to be afraid, shaken, or rattled by the noise, noise generated throughout this world. We are people of hope. Therefore, Father, I ask that you help this graduating class to understand that when Christians become scared and afraid, the world looks at us and sees a weak people, a people without faith, and a sovereign Heavenly Father. When we panic, we repudiate or even deny your sacred word. Sovereign Heavenly Father, help this graduating class to listen to your heart above all other sounds in a world that is filled with bitterness and hate. Help this class to seek and listen to your heart in this sinful world of military aggression and talk of World War III, help this graduating class of 2022 boldly disdain and rebuke all that is not from your heart, God. Help these men and women hold dear your truths, your wisdom contained within Scripture and affirmed when individually they listen to your heart. Help this class of 2022 serve throughout the world with the highest respect and the deepest love for you, Sovereign Father. In this un unstable world with the food shortages and the health care issues and the graduating seniors bringing hope throughout the world, throughout representing you in the glory of your Trinity, and to do so boldly and unapologetically, Father, we when they cry out to you in those moments when, when this graduation class is shaken, please embrace and hold them to your heart. And in the still calmness of your sovereignty, Father, when the faith of those who make up the class of 2022 are shaken and agitated, bless them with the ability to hear your heart so that their heart is calm and their faith is strengthened. Amen and amen. amen. You have been blessed. You are now graduated, and I believe we are ready for the exit of the building, okay? <laughs> <laughs>